Welcome to a live yoga break. So if you're at your desk or sitting on the couch, you can get up and join in for a few minutes to breathe and stretch and relax. I just taught an hour class for a company that we do weekly on Zoom. So I'm going to share with you all a few poses so you can feel better in your body. And if you're just taking a break from your desk, um, you can do yoga even in your work clothes. So, so wherever you are, you can stand up, start with your feet hip width apart, relax your arms, and balance the weight on both feet called mountain pose. So just wherever you are, take a few slow breaths. And just feel the body. Just let the mind shift away from the busyness of the day and turn inward on the breath and experiencing the balance in the body. Okay, then we're gonna interlock the fingers, bring the feet together, stretch up on inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, curve to the side, crescent moon. Slow breathing and then switch sides, crescent moon. Just a little side stretch. We'll just do a few poses to keep the back flexible and get rid of tensions in the body from the desk. Now interlock the fingers behind you. Feet can be hip width, knees can be bent a little bit for a shoulder opener and a forward bend. You're gonna exhale, bend the knees, bow forward, stretch the arms up to the sky and hold. And release, release the arms, roll the shoulders, and then pause in mountain pose and observe. Okay, the mighty pose, Utkatasana. Feet can be together or hip width apart. I'm going to stretch your arms up on inhale. If you're sitting at your desk at a chair, this is great. You just stand up and then don't sit on your chair, but just hover an inch over it. Sink down and like you're about to sit in the chair, but don't actually sit. And then take your arms towards the ears and hold for leg strength. Option to prayer pose into a twist. You can bring the feet together, one elbow to outer to opposite thigh as you twist. And then switch if that's comfortable. If not, you can modify. And from there, one more breath, Utkatasan, mighty pose, and then exhale, fold forward bend. And drop down into a squat all the way down, release your lower spine. This is great if you're sitting at the desk all day to every now and then just drop into a squat and breathe. Okay, option here to balance, palms to prayer, squeeze the thighs together, navel towards spine. Release your hands for malasana. We'll do just a few more poses. Take your legs wide, hands to the ground. Relax the body or hands to ankles or thigh to balance the garland pose. And release, and then sit on the heels, and we'll do one more posture, the spinal twist, Ardha Matsi Andrasana. So you sit to the left of the heels, right foot over left, right heel kind of in front of left knee, not all the way on the side, right hand behind, hug or arm out or leg, and then twist to the right. You can just sit in a chair and twist your spine too, like I have in my sunlight chair yoga book. But if you're on the floor and that's comfortable, try this. So other side, your left leg over right, left heel in front of right knee, left hand behind, either hug the leg or arm the outer leg, twist to the left and breathe. You want to keep your back flexible and your joints flexible for health and injury prevention and just to feel more energy and good circulation. That's one reason we do these yoga postures for vital health and freedom in the body for mobility. So when you're done, either sit cross-legged in your chair or you can sit on your heels, even cup your hand over the other. And just let your eyes close. 
observing the effects from those few yoga poses we did. And of course, if you have time, you can stay where you are and meditate, watching the breath. 30 to 60 minutes a day is optimal to train the mind to focus, just sitting, watching breath. But the poses we did are so helpful to do every day so that your body is comfortable to sit still and you have um, the optimal health in the body by moving and exercising and doing postures. It's good for the heart, good for the mind, and circulation also. So enjoy your yoga break. Have a great day. Namaste. And if you want more classes with me, I have a new online course with 15 to 20 minute sessions, which is great if you're busy and just have 20 minutes a day or 15 minutes. That has 18 sessions filmed out in beautiful nature settings with gentle yoga on the floor, sun salute in Sedona, Arizona, more active poses. Some of those videos are just relaxation videos from Paradise Island, Bahamas. And then some are just meditation and breathing practice for calming that were filmed in Bryce Canyon, Utah. So that's my new course, Yoga for Wellbeing. It's on sunlightyoga.com. I have seven other courses, including chair yoga, gentle yoga, office yoga, and meditation, and yoga for everyone. And I've got two new courses coming out with full 60-minute and 30-minute classes, which will be out in the next week or two. So lots of options. It's all on sunlightyoga.com. Have a great day. Namaste.